Hi Patty, so I'm here to do the energy reads for end of December going on into 2021 So I'm going to be reading for the last part of 2020 The energy, what you're leaving behind, what you're going towards, what do you need to leave behind um, You can book in for online readings, so I'm available on my website, will be in the link below um, there's also the questions and answers um, option that you can have where I email you a video. So let's have a look. Let's see what's going on. Passes for the last part of December. The energies passes. We'll do a Celtic cross. Just going to do a quick Celtic cross. Each sign, and I'll be back in January to do the proper generals. Cancer. There we go. Overall, Enja. I just said cancer then, didn't I? Am I dealing with cancer? Or are you going towards cancer season? Passies. Going from storm waters to smoother waters with the Six of Swords. So 2020 has been a bit of a stormy water anyway, hasn't it? Emotional air, financial air. Um, there's been lots of changes, but there's also been lots of good come from it as well. It does show that you are coming out of the stormy waters, ready to go into the new beginning now, into the stu into the smoother water. So it's nice. Um, when I did say cancer a minute ago, uh, cancer does start in the sixth month, the, the last week of um, June. So you could be working your way towards then. That could be significant in that timing. So let's have a look at the situation. So we've got the 11-11 card, which is the four of wands. So we've got peace, contentment, the completion of a project. I said that at 222, so you might want to check angel number 222, but it's almost like, thank God this year's over with. You know what I mean? But I feel like you've completed this cycle and now it's like, you can almost give yourself a pat on the back. Like, I got through it, I survived it. I was here and I survived 2020. You know, I think we all need t-shirts with that on. Um, so, challenges or blockages, we've got the hanged man. So, the hanged man, is about seeing things from a different perspective so i feel like you're just going into that though so the challenge at the minute is now to look back and get the clarification that you needed that you've gained within this year in order to learn from it and take it into next year in a more positive aspect um so it's to see things from a different perspective it's to like them light bulb moments i don't know why i've got this glare with my card this is a little bit strange today isn't it I don't usually have this. Um, Why well, is it coming around? We've got the Nine of Wands in reverse. So the Wounded Warrior, it's almost like you're putting your wounds behind you. And I think that's the blessing in disguise. So I think that like, you've gone through a major... Um, release. You're not off. You're not fighting it no more. You're not arguing with it no more. You're just kind of releasing any any negativity. You're not plodding on anymore. You, you know, and that's the eleven eleven situation. That's the four of wands. It's like being grateful for what you've got. So recent past, we've got the seven of cups. So we've got options. Um, I'm gonna clarify these. At present, we've got the Nine of Swords, so there's no more overthinking. So I, I'm, I'm really loving your energy because it's like you had um, a mental clear out. So, Parthians, it's like you've had a mental clear out. Maybe I'm saying Cancer because we do have the Cancer full moon. I think it's tomorrow or the day after. Unless you're dealing with Cancer, but I keep getting Cancer in my head all the time when I'm trying to read Parthians. Um, so we've got the Nine of Swords in reverse. So it's like coming out of that nightmare. It's like a nightmare has ended. Um... Some of my Parthians will have actually decided to change job or even stop working. And I'm saying that as a decision. Like, So you could be at the age of retirement or, you know, it's that type of thing. Uh, I'm not putting myself, my energy into something that's not fulfilling anymore. I'm looking after me now. 
you know, is is a very uplifting reading. Near future, we've got a temperance. So Sam Sagittarius, but it is about balance within a situation, uh, being able to stay grounded while you show, while you also dip your toes in to new emotional things. So I'm getting a very grounded energy. The only cups here are in the past with the options that you had to make. So your power in the situation is the devil in reverse. So you have released yourself from some major toxic thoughts, toxic thinking, toxic people. Um, it's like you're not looking back. Definitely not looking back. You've unshackled them. You know, you've got the wire cutters or, you know, whatever. And you've clipped the, those shackles. It's, uh, it's nice. Outside influence to that, yeah. So there could have been someone trying to get reactions from you. It could have been uh, romantically or it could have been work-wise. Um, could have been trying to overpower you, that type of thing. I feel like you're majorly taking your power back. Hopes or fears and that of cups. So an offer. Uh, an emotionally founded offer as well. Something that makes you emotionally happy. With you being the water sign, the outcome is the world. The world is your oyster. New beginnings. Rolling up a cycle and a new beginning starting. So I like it. You start, you're on a new cycle. It's like, fuck the past type of thing. I'm going forward. So the four of wands being in the middle of the situation. So the three of air, but it came out in reverse. So the three of swords in reverse. So apologies. Um, Putting things right. I wanted to say right in your own wrongs. Uh, that could be you or that could be an energy around you. Someone could be, come with an apology, that type of thing. Uh, take the time to heal and need to, need to forgive yourself and others. It could have been a third party in the past as well. Uh, just throwing that out there. The hanged man. Yeah, the challenge is to kind of try and not be... It's to see, see things from a different perspective and lower your guard... Not as not be as uh, defensive. So the challenge is to kind of lower the defences. I, I feel like you're taking yourself out of a situation where you felt like you needed to, to defend yourself or justify yourself. So the Nine of Wands in reverse, as why it's coming around now. We've got the Queen of Air. So objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you and seeing the human situations. It's the independent person. Uh, it could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but then again, I, get, I picked up that moon energy again. So, and the moon, the full moon is about releasing any fears that are holding you back. It's about releasing any, anything at all that's holding you back. So, and we all, the Queen of Air, the Queen of Swords, she cuts anything out. Anything that no longer serves her, she's got to that point where I'm here for a good time. I'm not here for a long time, you know, it's that type of thing. I will not um, take on board anyone who disrespects me. Oh, it's being your own boss, but of yourself emotionally as well, boundaries and things like that. I will cut you off at the slightest, slightest thing if I think it's no longer for my own good. And I'll listen to your bullshit stories. And as soon as I realise that you're bullshitting me, soul's coming down, I'm cutting you out. So you could be cutting out quite a few people with the moon being there. It's like you're seeing the truth of situations. The moon sheds light on the darkest of areas. And I feel it's within yourself as well. So the seven of cups being the options. We've got the two of us. So they could have been juggling in the past. Could have been juggling with finances. Struggling with finances. A lot of going on at once. Or it could have been with this free free way situation that I'll kind of getting up this third party situation. Um, in the past. It's like you were juggling in the past. I feel like you've come away from that. So if it was passes... If it was you that was juggling someone in the past, I feel like you've come away from that now. If someone else had done that to you, I feel like they've definitely come away from that. Maybe that's why you've cut them out. The Nine of Swords in reverse. King of Water. So that's you in your energy, unless you are dealing with cancer. Or a Scorpio. Uh, so we've got you being in your masculine energy. So there's no sex in the tarot. You, you know, energy is energy. Sometimes you can pick up male, sometimes you can pick up female. But you are in your masculine energy, which is the go-getter energy. But the king of water is like being emotionally available. Um, and I feel like you are emotionally available now to move forward. You've learned a major uh, emotional lesson. Um, then near future, we've got the nine of swords in reverse again. So you're definitely coming out of like a head fuck situation. We've got the nine of earth, enjoying last little luxury, spending quite time alone, successful self-employment. So that is the independent person. You could be choosing to go single. You could have already chose to go single. 
and you work, you're working your way up or it's financially you're choosing to venture off and you are working your way up either way you're working your way upwards so as a temperance here two of water yeah i do see a relationship um whether you split with this person or whether you haven't a relationship that will continue to grow closer forgiveness positive resolution of a conflict so it could be a relationship or it could be a handshake between you and a person at work uh there could be conflicted information at work but you're going on to something that's more exciting and i feel like that's what all this is about it's about you getting out of your head and i feel like 2020 has made you kind of review and evaluate your life and you've made that decision that you're going to move on forward now so you're going there's a lot of fire energy here in your future so you could be going towards a fire sign um or a water sign or it's about you putting yourself first having that fire in your chart and going and getting what you want so the devil in reverse is your power is the five of cups in reverse so no regrets you won't look back in regrets it's like you've done it for a reason um you can see the reasons i have no regrets i made that decision i said that 11 11 um i've made that decision and that's why i'm not just trying my decisions anymore i am just going for what's good for me putting myself first so the outside influence the five of swords we've got the three of wands and it was in reverse Definitely could have been third party in the past. Yeah, and the awakening. It's like you walk up to it or they walk up to it. It's like someone's walking up to it. I think the secret came out of the bag. This could have been way, way in the past and you've been harbouring this like, guilt or you've been harbouring this pain because of this third party situation. Uh, awakening, seeing things from a different perspective. A temporary standstill. So the Knight of Cups being your hope is released. So we've got Scorpio now as well. The end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, it's time to move on. So you want that offer to be able to move on. Spirit are bringing you in the offer of ending things that no longer serve you, ending things that are no longer for your greater good. So what's the world bringing in? Nice. So we've got the sign of Leo, but it is number 11. Strength. Great inner strength, police, harsh judgments, forgiveness and compassion. There's a lot of forgiveness needed. Page of Earth. So there's going to be communication. There's going to be talks. Um... I feel like you're putting the past in the past. Yeah, we've got the five of uh, wands in reverse. So the competing goals or the conflict, um, bothersome details, any drama, karma, that kind of shit. It's like I've outgrown it. After this year, I have learned that I am not taking that forward. I feel like you've majorly learned that you are not living that and you are taking it forward. So I like it. It looks really good. So I shall be back for your January's full on generals uh, and like I say if you want to contact me or anything everything will be in the description box below I need to figure out why I look like I'm I'm making you look like you're tripping <laughs> right okay bye